This video will demonstrate how to manually deduct a deceased patient or a patient that has emigrated. When you have been informed a patient has moved abroad or has passed away, you will need to manually deduct the patient from EMIS rather than getting a notification in the registration folder in Workflow Manager. To do this, you will have to navigate to the registration screen by the EMIS button or your quick launch menu. Firstly, Make sure you have selected the correct patient before making a deduction request. You can only request deductions of regular active patients that your trading partner has accepted via GP links. On the ribbon, select Request Deduction. Once you have clicked on Request Deduction, a box will appear which you will need to fill out. Firstly, you will have to choose the reason for deduction. For patients who have passed away, you will need to select Death. You will then need to put the date of death in the second box down and the cause of death in the third box down. The cause of death will be found on any death notification that you receive, for example, the hospital notification letter or coroner's report. If the patient has moved abroad, the selection must be embarkation and you will need to know the country that they have moved to to complete this step. All future appointments and diary entries will be cancelled by default. You may also want to check that any repeat prescriptions are managed and not sent automatically via EPS. In the instance of emigration and death, the patient's notes will be sent to archive and therefore must be complete. This means that all EMIS records, paper notes and Docman documentation must be printed. If the Lloyd George notes have been digitised, they will be found on the patient's document screen in EMIS. To print the record, Navigate to the care record and select print and use a defined summary with all boxes ticked and all filters changed to all. Make sure all of the EMIS data has been printed. All correspondence for the patient's time at the practice must be printed to ensure the record being sent off is as complete as possible. Print off all Docman letters for the patient. This can only be done by going to the patient's Docman record by searching their name and selecting all documents and clicking print. All documents should then go into an NHS transit bag with their Lloyd George wallet and the transit label with patient information stuck on the front. Stick the transit sticker that accompanies the patient detail sticker in the square box located on the NHS transit bags. Once complete, the deduction request is sent for the patient to your trading partner. The deduction can be accepted from the deductions folder in the registration GP links inbox in Workflow Manager by selecting Accept. The patient will then be marked as inactive or deceased and the status and colour of the patient pricey bar will be updated. You will then need to mark the medical records as sent in the FP22 Reminders folder of the GP Links Medical Records folder, which can be found on the Registration module in Workflow Manager. Find the patient and select Send Medical Records. After you have received and actioned the deduction, and depending on your practice policy, you may want to archive the patient's care record in EMIS Web.